What's up, y'all? Happy Black Friday, huh? How y'all doing? How y'all feeling today, man? Hopefully y'all slept good. I know everybody went to sleep with them bellies full from that Thanksgiving dinner. How y'all feeling? We got South Carolina here. That's what's up. I love the red hat. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. I just came on here to give all of the confident, secure women their flowers. You gotta understand what I'm saying, man. To all the confident, secure women around the world, respectfully, I just wanna say, y'all the shit. That's all I wanna, I, I just wanted to come on here and say that y'all are the shit. You dig what I'm saying? A boss like myself, a go-getter like myself can respect that, like, because we know what it comes with in this world, man. You know, a lot of people don't have that. A lot of people not securing themselves. A lot of people not confident these days. So to the people that can remain confident and secure themselves in 2023, man, look, a respect level to every one of y'all women on here, man, to everybody who's like that, respectfully. I'm giving y'all y'all flowers right now. A lot of dudes don't give women those type of flowers. You see what I'm saying? Like, you know, some people feel like they need validation every day in order to feel secure, in order to feel confident. Nah, nah, not a real woman, not a real secure woman, not a real confident woman. They don't need that validation every day because they know who they is when they look in the mirror. They see how beautiful they are, but they also know who they is from the inside too. You dig what I'm saying? Because it's all about that inside security that means more than anything. When you love yourself, you put yourself on that pedestal and you know what else is out there, what your competition is. You know it ain't no competition. When you securing yourself and you confident, man, you know it ain't no competition out there, ladies. You feel what I'm saying? You know it ain't, man. You ain't worried about none of these raggedy chicks out here. You so secure in yourself, you ain't even thinking about that. To me, a woman who ain't worried about the next woman or a woman who don't, a woman who feels like another woman is no competition to them, man, that's the sexiest woman on the planet to me, man. Because that's how I feel about myself. I'm very confident. You know, when I'm with a woman, I ain't thinking about no other dude. I, they ain't no competition. You feel what I'm saying? When you know who you are and what you bring to the table, they ain't no competition. So I respect women who know that about themselves. They so confident in themselves. What they bring to the table, that they don't need an everyday validation or speech. You know what I'm saying? They don't need that every day because they know what they bring to the table and they know the person that they with. They know the person that they with ain't about to jeopardize losing that for one of these butterheads out here. You dig what I'm saying? So for the women out there like that, man, it's, I just wanted to come on here and tell y'all that y'all value bosses like myself, men who move like how I move, good men. You dig what I'm saying? We love that. We cherish that. We don't want no headache. You dig what I'm saying? It's a lot of women out here. They're not securing themselves. You dig what I'm saying? They're not confident. So they bring that type of man all type of headache, man. Y'all got to know what type of man y'all dealing with before y'all get in a relationship. Y'all know what's up because y'all chose that guy. Y'all know that guy is a guy that's going to attract certain type of attention from different people. But you have to know that can't nobody take your spot. You dig what I'm saying? You got to know, once you get that spot, as long as you're doing what you're supposed to be doing, you confident, you secure, you being a helper, like, like the Bible says about a woman, as long as you helping, that man going to be there, man. That man ain't going to jeopardize his relationship, his love for you, for none of these other butterheads out here, man, when everybody, we know, we know what's out there. Real men know what's out there, and real women know what's out there, too, so they're not even, they're not even worried about those type of women. So for all of y'all that's, that's got it together, man, I'm giving y'all y'all roses now. I know it's a lot of y'all on this live right now who are not intimidated by the next female because you know you are that. You see what you strut? You know you are that. Man, I, I got nothing but the respect for those type of women, man. Keep y'all self up. Keep y'all, keep y'all, hey, just keep doing what y'all doing. 
because this is 2023, man. It's hard out here for a person who ain't got it together mentally and all of that. It's hard out here, man. It's hard out here for a person who ain't got it together, who don't have that security in themselves, that confidence in themselves. You dig what I'm saying? So respect to y'all, man. I know I probably repeated a lot of stuff back and forth. That's what we do when we preaching the word. You know, we got to go back into it because for the person who didn't get it the first time, you got to repeat it again so they can get it. So shout out to all the beautiful women on here right now, the secure women, the confident women. Shout out to every one of y'all, man. Make sure y'all share this, man. Embrace that. Y'all know who y'all are. I hey, appreciate those roses y'all put on here in the comments. Thank you, First Lady Francis. You got the supporter badge. Man, I appreciate you. And you shared the live. Shout out to First Lady Francis. I got to shout you out, man. That's love. Anybody who sends stars, I'm going to shout your name out too. Anybody who shared a live, it's free to share the live. It ain't all about somebody sending money. But I appreciate the ones who do buy stars and all that. You know, I do get on social media. I preach this word. I give that positivity out. On a lot of days, I get on here and do it for free. You dig what I'm saying? When people don't send stars, I'm doing it for free. So that's why I say just share it, at least sharing it, getting more viewers in here is cool. My monetization is not on right now, but they are allowing me to receive stars. So if you do send stars, I, I appreciate it. Thanks to everybody who says safe travels too, man. That's a positive thing. I love to see positivity, man. Shout out to you too. Let me see, who was that said safe travels? Shout out to Lisa Shelton for saying safe travels, man. I appreciate you, man. You safe travels for me to get to my destination, man. That's love. I appreciate that. Somebody said, Miss Season, I can see very secure. Man, Miss Season is very secure. That's what I'm talking about. Women who are secure like that, man, like, that's a superpower. Being secure? Man, being secure and confident in yourself and knowing ain't nobody on your level, man, that's, that's a superpower. I, that's why I tell women around the world, tap into that superpower. When you worried about the next person, you are you are losing already. You ain't even got your superpower no more. Natalie Lockett, appreciate the stars, queen. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I had to shout you out. Appreciate you sending them stars. You the first one today, too, so I got I to gotta say it again for you. Natalie Lockett, thank you, queen. I appreciate that. You dig what I'm saying? The truth appreciates that. We got you, R.H. Appreciate that, man. Y'all calling me by initials now? Hey, just call me Latruth. I know my, my, you know, Robert Hampton is my name on here, but call me Latruth because all of my business ventures, my music, things like that are under the name Latruth. Now, I do have a book out on Amazon called How to Consistently Be Great in Bed. It's listed under my name, Robert Hampton. But most of my business ventures are listed under Latruth. Latruth, that's my stage name. So if you guys are looking for my music, you're probably going wrong if you're searching Robert Hampton to find my music. You got to search my stage name, La Truth, which was my rap name, obviously. But I'm going to put music online under Robert Hampton. My R&B music, I'm going to start putting it under Robert Hampton, too, so I don't miss those people who are looking for my music. So I got y'all. Peggy Lowry, thank you so much for sharing this stream, man. I had to shout you out. It's free to share, guys. It's free to hit that share button. It's free to tap those hearts and those thumbs up. He said nobody can stop nothing god god have for that's that's a fact that's a fact telling you messy thank you so much you got the subscription badge by your name too anybody who has a subscription badge by your name i'm gonna say y'all names man when i come on here i want to make that like a normal thing if i see that subscription badge by your name i'm gonna shout your name out you dig what i'm saying every day when i see you on here tanya massey thank you so much again appreciate that love you said we got you Latrue. thank you so much thank you so much when y'all share this stream, make sure y'all say support my brother, the truth. You dig what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, we all brothers and sisters in God's eyes. Y'all know how it go. So, so ladies, when y'all share that, say support my brother, the truth. To the fellas on here, man, if there's any men on here who have had that type of woman that I just decided, that I just described in that description, be, be real on how you feel about having that type of woman who's securing herself and she ain't worried about the next female at all. Keep it a hundred with them. Tell them how much peace you get from that. Like, I know I'm not the only one. It's a lot of bosses out here. It's a lot of bosses out here that can relate to that. So, you know, give them their flowers, fellas. If you got a woman like that, man, you got to praise that type of woman, bro. Stress-free life, peaceful. Man, you can work in your element. You ain't got to worry about no type of thing that's going to drag that confidence or 
that that desire for what you're trying to do for business because at the end of the day man when a man and a woman come together it's to better each other that's what it's supposed to always be man you should never be working against each other anything like you can't work against the person that you're supposed to be with that's that should never be an option because you're taking away from yourself him and the family when you do that so you got to be on the same team man and that confidence is required man y'all see what type of world we live in man it's always a lot of obstacles so both parties got to be each other's backbone man. you got to help each other where everybody weak at but when it comes to insecurities and being confident some of those things you can only help yourself with you know what i'm saying we can get compliments from people in our lives and stuff like that that's cool it's great but we can't solely depend on somebody else lifting up, building up your confidence and all of that, self-esteem and stuff like that. That's a thing that happens within self. You got to know, who, you got to build yourself up in those moments. And you got to know who you are, man. You got to know what you bring to the table and can't nobody take your spot. That's men and women. You dig what I'm saying? So, let's see, did they fix your page? Nah, my monetization is still off right now. I got an alert saying that it may be a few more days. So y'all will know when y'all see some commercials popping up. If you see commercials popping up on the content, then y'all know. You don't see no commercials popping up. Monetization is not on. So to all of y'all trying to get monetized on social media, you got to read. Make sure y'all check all your notifications. Um, click on all. Go through your settings and all that to see if you are able to monetize your content. Because if you're going to use these apps... You got to make sure you at least know how to be monetized. And for you guys that want to make money from social media, you have to go live. Go live once a day if you can. If you are in the business of trying to become a content creator, you're not going to get monetized just from commenting on posts, okay? Christina Brillies, thank you so much, baby. Thanks for the, uh, having the subscription badge. Again, First Lady Francis, I see you comment you got the subscription bag tanya massey again i see you thank you so much you got the subscription bag i told y'all if i see y'all names and y'all got that beautiful blue subscription bag by your name i'm gonna say your name man. you dig what i'm saying you send stars i'm gonna say your name if you share the live i'm gonna say your name like i told y'all before sharing the live is free but yeah if you want to if you want to be able to monetize on social media the more pictures you guys post you know, I go to some of y'all's pages when I see some of y'all's comments, and I notice y'all don't post no pictures. Y'all don't post no statuses, no quotes. Like, let people know what's going on. If you woke up this morning and it was a beautiful day, just say, hey, I went outside. It's a beautiful day today. The more you guys post that type of content for the people, your friends and family who follow you, and they start interacting in what you post, and you can get monetized on social media. You can actually get a check. That could be some extra money for you and your kids. So... Post those pictures with your family. Post those pictures with your kids. Let us know how you feel. Like, oh, look, I love my kid. Here's me and my daughter, or here's me and my son. Like, y'all be asking these questions. How can I be monetized? Like, a lot of content creators don't come on here and give y'all this sauce. You know what I'm saying? I could charge for this. I could definitely charge for this. And I'm going to put a little class together to where I'm going to show you, like, I'm going to show it to you how to set the thing up, show you how you can get the most reach from your content, all of that. But a lot of you guys could be getting paid while you own these apps. But they do not pay you to comment. You dig what I'm saying? So a lot of y'all, I know y'all just do a lot of commenting and stuff like that. So at least post something on your page. Let people know. Because when y'all do comment on my page, people come to y'all pages and check y'all out. They go see who y'all is just off of your comment. Just over your opinion. People come to your page and be like, oh, let me see. Let me see what this person got going on. And then they come to your page and they realize you don't post anything. So it's like, dang, hold up. They ain't posting nothing. So I'm just letting you know, man. We all, everybody can make money on social media. There's no need for nobody to be intimidated by the next person, jealous of the next person, any of that, because we all got the same 24 hours in a day. We all got cell phones that can take pictures. Some of us may have better quality cell phones than others, but at the end of the day, as long as you're posting a picture, you know, your food, everybody ate for Thanksgiving. You could have took pictures of your plate and put it on your page and you know what I'm saying people would have seen it and eventually they they interacted with it eventually Facebook and be like you know what I'm gonna pay this person this person is bringing traffic to my page this person is bringing traffic to my platform you dig what I'm saying because at the end of the day Facebook want to see what y'all got going on you dig what I'm saying Facebook want to see it and the people who follow you want to know what you ate last night you dig what I'm saying they want to know how many kids you got too 
You feel me? They want to know what your talents are. If you can sing, you can dance, you can rap, whatever it is. If you can get a word, like I, we need more motivational speakers on here, man. We need more people who was raised in a two-parent household speaking on how that environment was for them. You dig what I'm saying? We need people who have went through, like some of you people who had it all growing up. We, we want to know y'all's story. You dig? Y'all know I'm a kid from Forest City, North Carolina, man. I came from Forest City, North Carolina. I came from poverty. I done told y'all my story. Everybody got a story. Tell y'all story, man. It's people that will be intrigued in your story, man. And that way we can start helping people because everybody go through so many different things. My obstacles might not be your obstacles. Your obstacles might not be my obstacles. But somebody can relate to your obstacles and you can help somebody get through some things. You dig what I'm saying? How did you overcome the obstacles that you had to go through? Let us know. I want to know. It's a lot of people who want to know how you got through those obstacles. Yeah, people going to judge you. But at the end of the day, in order to help somebody or save somebody that's about to go down the same road you went down, you can save them now. You know what I'm saying? You can let them know what you did to overcome it because if they made the same mistake, they might could take the same path that you use to overcome their problem too. So that's what life is about, man. We all go through things. We all human. And it is what it is, man. That's how it be. Somebody say he's driving. Oh, people was questioning what I was doing. They couldn't tell I'm driving. <laughs> that's crazy. A stand wheel right here. <laughs> how they can't tell? <laughs> That's the thing I like about social media too, man. You know, some of this, it'd be very entertaining to see people's view on certain things. But uh, let me see. Let me say something to a couple more of y'all people, man. I'm excited right now, man. Get to see my little girl today, man. I'm so excited. Ready to have fun with her. Let me see. Let me see. Read your comment. What you say, man? Good afternoon to every one of y'all, man. Good afternoon. Hey, I'm hey, I'm only gonna be talking to the positive people, man. Hey, hey, I done spent I'm gonna say about a year responding to a lot of negativity on these platforms. And if they didn't get it, the things I was trying to say to them, I was trying to teach a lot of them, and that's why I do it. Sometimes I respond to negativity because it ain't much I can teach somebody who's positive like me. People who are positive like me, I'm sorry if I overlooked any people who said can't call me king, people who said very positive things. If I ever overlooked y'all, I apologize because my mission has always been to help people, man. You know what I'm saying? People who going through things, and I do realize the people who are the most negative. They're going through a lot. So I, I give a lot of speeches to those people and try to help them. You dig what I'm saying? And I feel like for the past year and a half, I've been doing a lot of counseling to people, trying to counsel people and let people know, man, we all go through things. And when we're going through something, when we're down, it doesn't mean we got to lash out at other people. We don't have to try to bring people down to a negative spirit or level because we're going through those things. And that's what I've been trying to do. Like through a couple of years, y'all been following me. Y'all seen I've been going through stuff and I still come on here and try to be as positive as I can. And it's always somebody to try to throw me off that, get me off track. And I entertain it because in order for me to help me as a culture, as black people, we I've noticed that people gravitate to negativity all the time. So I will respond back to some negative stuff and try to show y'all how you can respond and correct at the same time. You know, they may lash out, cuss you. So in order, the language that they understand is usually going to be the same language that they gave you. So you're going to repeat back. You got to reply back with the same language as them. If they speak in English, you got to speak English. If they speak in French and you know French, you got to speak French. If they speak in Spanish and you know Spanish, you got to speak Spanish. If they speak in Ebonics to you and all they know how to understand is Ebonics, you got to speak back to them with the Ebonics. So if they come on here and speak ratchet to you and you know the only way they can understand you, you got to speak ratchet back to them. That's just, that's a part of life. So y'all seen me come on here. Somebody cussed me. Y'all seen me cuss people back out. But I know that's the only language that those type of people understand. But that's just life, man. Let me see. Let me go back in here, man. I'm, I'm only talking to the positive people. I talk apply for me. You got to be positive. Let me see. God, God bless you too, Brenda. 
Yeah, man, I've been using my pl my platform to cancel people for a long time, man. I mean, I've, I've helped and healed so many people through my platform, through my journeys of a lot of the things that I went through. And that's why I tell people, man, when y'all going through stuff, man, it's okay to get be vocal. It's okay to get on your social media and vent and, and try to help people through. Everybody not going to understand you, you know. And all of y'all who follow me, y'all know everybody's not going to understand you because y'all done seen me. Y'all done seen me on here come on here and be the nicest guy on the planet. And, and get bashed by a lot of people right while I'm trying to help other people while I'm going through stuff. So it's okay, man, but you definitely got to have thick skin. I wouldn't tell anybody. Everybody shouldn't just jump on here and try to do it that way because if you ain't got thick skin, it's going to be a difficult thing for you. Oh, my God. Let me see. Man, it's a lot of love on here, man. I appreciate y'all, man. It's a lot of beautiful souls on here. A lot of beautiful human beings on here. To anybody who said something negative before, man, hey, so y'all human, I'm, hey, I forgive. I got a big, man, my heart's so huge, mm -hmm. I forgive. So if it's some people in here saying something negative before, and you come on here and you negative every day, man, hey, I forgive, man. My, my heart is golden. I don't hold grudges with people, man. I don't know what y'all was going through when y'all said something, man. Y'all might have been going through some of the worst stuff. We all go through it. I don't look at what I go through no worse than what somebody else go through. Some people going through some worse stuff than I am. Let me see. Keep your head up and stay positive. Always, man, that's me. That's all I know how to do is keep my head up and stay positive. I use these outlets to entertain, man. I try to entertain as many people as I can when I'm on here. <clears throat> I'm going to set my camera up right quick while I finish getting a couple things up out of my car. Happy holidays to y'all, man. I hope y'all I hope y'all was able to see y'all families and stuff yesterday. I hope everybody was able to see their families and all that. Be right back. I need my life. I can say where y'all from if y'all want to. I will be checking through the comments. I do check through. Any artists out there, y'all looking to do a feature with me? I've been getting a lot of people hitting me up, so y'all hit the email. The truth business at gmail. Y'all want to get a feature for me? Y'all got to hit that email. The truth business at gmail. Anybody looking to get a feature? Anybody looking to promote their businesses and stuff like that? Hit the email. Y'all want like commercial, all that? Somebody want y'all want to do skits for your business? All of that? Hit the email, thetruthbusiness at gmail.com. I was, I was the black, I was the black Superman for real yesterday, y'all. I was in, I went from North Carolina, South Carolina, back to Georgia, Thanksgiving, family after family after family. Man, I was the black Superman for real yesterday, man. I, I should have had some black Superman highlights, man. Y'all would have seen how I was flying from, <laughs> from state to state. <laughs>
Let me read a couple more of these comments, man. See what y'all talking about before I get up off here. I got some things I got to do. I know you was. I wish I could have been there with you, rooting you on. Appreciate that, Peggy. Barbara Holmes, thank you for sharing the stream. Appreciate you. Appreciate you. Y'all tap those hearts. Tap those hearts and those thumbs up, man. Let me see. Let me shout out everybody who sent stars. Hold on. Give me a second. Let me shout out. Valerie Reed Harrison, thank you for the stars, baby. Natalie Lockett, thank you for the stars, baby. Let me see. Yeah, that's the it's only two. Okay, yeah, that was a pretty that was a pretty easy shout out list. You know, it's Black Friday. I know everybody about to go get any money at these stores. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Support black business. <laughs> oh, I was able to see my little girl, my, my oldest daughter yesterday too. You know, hugging her for me was priceless. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, you know, I was able to see my oldest little girl yesterday. Them hugs be a little bit different when they small. When they get older, in them teenage years, you start missing them young kid hugs because they be so they be so different. Like, oh, I love you, daddy. Oh my God, I miss you, daddy. I love you, daddy. It's different. It's different when they when they small. Y'all know that. Y'all know that to all the mothers on here, y'all know how y'all hugged y'all dad when y'all was babies, when y'all was small, before you thought you started thinking you was grown. Once y'all start thinking y'all grown, I don't know what happened. All I can do is pray about it. Hopefully I can get those type of hugs back. Like, I, I would never have anything to say bad about you. Thank you so much, Elisa. I appreciate that. I'm glad. I love it when nobody, a person that won't say nothing bad about you that don't even know you. You know what I'm saying? A person that you ain't never wronged in your life. Like, that's human. That's a human, that's a human thing. Most humans think like that, Queen. Like, most humans, like men and women that are human, they do not run around talking bad about people that they don't know, that they've never met, that's never wronged them, none of that. Like, that's, that's a human thing. That's how I was raised, too. I don't talk bad about nobody that I don't know. inspiration to healthy life no doubt man help as well if y'all know that man i'm gonna keep giving y'all more content doing push-ups jogging hitting the heavy bag boxing all of that stuff man they hit different yes man for sure tanya listen us parents go through it too you say you a daddy's girl that's what's up peggy lowry shout out to all the daddy's girls To look up in the sky, it's a bird, it's a plane, the black Superman. Thank you so much, content creator. Appreciate it. I got some more coming for y'all. Don't worry. I had to I had to enhance my suit now. I had to add some readjustments to my costume, but we lit. I got some content coming from y'all. Facts. <clears throat> Facts. Yeah, it's, I see it's some trolls in here too, man. Let me go ahead and block the trolls. I got to get the trolls up out of here. A-sizzle. Like, you dig what I'm saying? Like, with, when I, you can tell who was sent to the page just to troll you, just to bring negativity into the room. That type of person I'm just going to block. Because I, I, I see you. You know what I'm saying? When people come in and say negative things, I see it multiple times. Once I see it multiple times, it's like, okay, block. Because I've noticed when I go to those pages, them pages be bots. They be fake. Like, people actually sit behind fake accounts and come in and just start spreading all type of rumors and stuff, trying to attack your spirit. Don't let them do that to you guys. If y'all content creators, man, it's up to you. You can allow whatever you want to allow on your page. It's up to you. You dig what I'm saying? I don't want it ruining the experience for the people who come in here and show love and they watching for positivity. Nicole McGregor, thank you so much, Queen. Thank you for the advice. Keep being you. Life comes with unexpected surprises, but the lessons are good for us. Oh, facts, Nicole. Hey, I genuinely wholeheartedly support that comment because everything that I've went through, even if it was meant to destroy me, it made me stronger. It made me better. I took it as a lesson. I learned everything I need to learn through it and how to elude, you know, certain type of situations in the future. You dig what I'm talking about? So it's always good to go through certain things. Can you sing I Hate You More? Listen, I want you to go to all streaming music sites, search the truth, I Hate You More. I want you to sing it. I want you to play it because I get paid when y'all play it. If I come on here and just sing I Hate You More on my live, I don't get paid for that. You dig what I'm saying? I, I'm, I got bills I got to pay. 
Y'all know I got little ones, man. I got I got a grandbaby on the way. Y'all heard the news a long time ago. Like, I, I need that support. You dig what I'm saying? That financial support. You dig what I'm saying? I'm going to come on here and continue to give y'all that game. But, you know, as far as I hate you more, it's streaming on all platforms. Go run those views up for me. Share it with your friends. Take the link from YouTube. The music video is out. It's got over 300,000 views on it. Um, people love the video. Some people saying it's the best video they've seen. So take the link to that on YouTube. Share it to your Facebook page. Let's help more people come watch my, my music video, I Hate You More. Drop it low. The music video is out on YouTube. Share it. Let people see it. Let's bring more traffic to it. You know what I'm saying? Support black business, man. At the end of the day, y'all know, everything I do is business. My music is business. You dig what I'm saying? It's therapy as well. It helps me through a lot of things in life. I love to do it. But it, it is business. You dig what I'm saying? So please go stream my music, download it. I think it's like a dollar and something on Apple Music or something like that. You know, people are not doing CDs no more. I still see people that follow me say, yo, can I get a CD? You know, I, I, I will print some CDs up, but it's like it's one of those things. If I print these CDs up, is people going to actually buy CDs? You know, I don't want to be hustling backwards. So I need to really know, like, maybe I'll put like something on my website to where you can purchase the CD and then once you pay me I get the CD printed up and send it to you that way I know I'm not I don't want to make a bunch of CDs and people don't use CDs no more so y'all let me know for real do you guys really still use CDs if y'all do I'll, I'll give y'all what y'all want if y'all want to have y'all want to ride around with an album a CD full of my songs on it I can put those back together again May God continue to bless, cover, and keep you. Thank you so much, LaKiva Wilson, and thank you so much for the stars. Appreciate the encouraging words as well. When you're going to do a concert real soon, man, you guys done miss a lot of my performances. I've done performances, but maybe you guys just not in Atlanta. I've been in Atlanta, more local. This is where I live in Atlanta, but, you know, I'm ready to get back out there and tour and all of that. I got some people in the process of setting those things up. Yeah, I know I went through stomach cancer and a lot of things, man. Rebuilding of my body, getting healthy and stuff like that has been my main focus. I would have way more music out. I would have, I would be doing way more tours and all of that. But this is not an easy thing, man. When you go through stomach cancer, it's not easy. You know, through th stomach cancer and a whole lot of other things I went through. I ain't going to get on here complaining. I'm a soldier. I keep my head up. You dig what I'm saying? I keep working. I keep pushing stuff out here for y'all. You know, it's levels. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get to where I need to be at, though, for sure. I'm definitely not a, a quitter. I don't give up. You know what I'm saying? I don't give up. Same favorite on Talent Tuesday, please. Man, I did. I actually performed that at my Latrouf's R&B night. Y'all got to pay attention when I post these events, man, so y'all can be there. Print the CDs as they order them. Drop it low. It's still my favorite song. Thank you so much, Tiffany Pruitt. Most definitely, that's what I was thinking. Maybe I'll, people send their payment, then I'll get the CD sent out to them or something like that. But I don't want to go out and make a bulk order of CDs and then just have a bunch of CDs just sitting around. You dig what I'm saying? So you still buy CDs? So it's that many people still buy CDs? That's crazy. I, I wouldn't think so. So, you, I mean, y'all got iPhones, though. Don't y'all got Bluetooth? Like, to all of you guys that have an iPhone and Bluetooth speakers and stuff like that, like, you realize you do not have to buy a CD. Now, I don't have a problem with putting some CDs for y'all to get them, but I don't, I'm just making sure you guys are aware that you can actually stream this music straight from your cellular device, and you can Bluetooth it to a speaker. You know, technology has changed, people. So you can actually download the song straight from all of these different music streaming sites, wherever you stream your music from. It doesn't have to actually be on CD. Can't say it's no joke. It takes time to really heal. It does, Tanya. It's a lot of diseases and um, different things people go through. This It's no joke, man. You know, and some people handle things different. I think my recovery was probably a lot faster than a lot of other people. You know, I'm doing fine, but it's still just so many different things. Traveling, um, Health is wealth. Like I told you, when you go through a cancer, like something like what I went through, having my complete stomach removed, I have to take vitamins, obviously. Um, I have to eat healthy, you know, fruits and vegetables and stuff like that. And I mean, it's just different, especially when you travel, because traveling, a lot of times people eat the worst stuff. I have no what time I'm going to be getting my daughter, guys. I, have no, I don't know the time yet, but, you know, everything is set in place. I'm still waiting on that. I don't know if you guys ever had a parenting app on your phone. Like, I, I, I don't like it, but it is what it is. That's, that's the way we got to do it. It's a parenting app, so the replies have to come through from there. My messages is there flooded. I done flooded message after message after message. Yo, to what time today? What time today? What time today? No replies, so I don't know what's going on yet. But we're going to figure this thing out. 
Never fold. You can't. You cannot fold. Nobody. You cannot fold. Brian Tracks, what's up, bro? I ain't seen you in a minute, bro. You still doing music? You got to hit my email, bro. I'm definitely doing features, and I know you, so you know what I'm saying? You from South Carolina, so you know we, we can come up with a deal, bro. We can come up with a deal. I know you make good music, so hit my email, thetruebusiness at gmail.com. New cars and SUV come from the factory with CD players still. Oh, wow. So, yeah, yeah. So they still put the CD players in there. So, you know, I just didn't know people still buy the CDs. That's dope to see. You're still so blessed to be here. Still thankful. That's that's a fact, man. God, That's why I tell y'all God got me every day. I'm still here, man. I'm blessed. Every day I wake up, man, I still come here and I smile no matter what I'm going through. Somebody say you got to get some rest, King. Man, I sleep every night. Peggy Larry, I sleep good every night. You know what I'm saying? But I, I told y'all I'm the black Superman. I do be running around. I do a lot of stuff. You know what I'm saying? We get we going to sleep when we die, y'all. But I get enough sleep. I get I get about eight hours of sleep today, every day. But I am constantly moving around. I work. I do a lot of stuff, man. Mm -hmm. This song's dedicated to my homie and that gangster lean. Why'd you have to go so soon? Good afternoon, King. My niece you're here from Lexington, Kentucky. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I need five. I got you shirts, long sleeve. Thanks for sharing this live too, Peggy Lowry. Mm, 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 mm. Y'all see that video? Uh, video I posted yesterday, man. That food, Miss Season cook some, man. That food, Miss Season cook delicious. Y'all better make sure y'all go to Miss Lou cooking. She be putting them recipes out there, man. Y'all know that she got a garden. Y'all better check it out, man. Health is well. Go check that out. Miss Season is a really great cook. She can cook her ass off. For sure. That food was banging. If y'all didn't see the live stream, it's on my page. Check it out. It wasn't a live stream. It actually was just a video. Check it out. I posted it last night at like midnight. Um, I see it got about 8,000 likes on it. So a lot of y'all seen it. But I know a lot of y'all probably didn't see it neither. So make sure y'all share that. Add um, um, dressing, turkey. Mac and cheese, sweet potato casserole. I don't know if y'all ever had sweet potato casserole, but that is good. Um, your husband needs beer at all. Let me put the website in here, man. Let me see. It's hbgsbrand.com. You said that's a sad song? Yeah, man, you know, but we, we all done lost somebody close, so, I mean, it's relatable. We all done lost a friend or something like that. My show still tonight. Talking about the fashion show? Yeah, y'all pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up to the show. It's a fashion show. You dig what I'm saying? Y'all make sure y'all pull up. I posted the, um, the um, thing on my page. But my daughter is the most important, so y'all got to understand that. I'm, I'm only campaigning for spending time with my daughter, so. But the event is going on regardless. It's going to be a lot of dope people in the building, whether I'm there or not. The event is going to be dope. It's going to be a lot of people in the building, man. Y'all make sure y'all show up. Man, that food was delicious. Man, that ain't acting. That's real. That food banging. You never heard of sweet potato casserole, but I'm going to try it. Man, it's delicious, man. I'm telling you, it's delicious. I've never had it, but from her, Miss Seasons, 
Sweet potato casserole is delicious. Your family have talent. Your father can truly sing. Y'all definitely got skills. I appreciate it, man. All of my family talented, man. I got all of my brothers can rap with the best. Like, we we are very dope rappers, all of us. Like, my family is just talented. Like, the Jackson Fives. My dad is a Jackson. I'm a Jackson, you know what I'm saying? That's That should have been my last name, Jackson, because my dad, obviously. But, you know, we got that Jackson blood. So, the talent has always been there. Just like the Jackson Fives. Jacksons are talents, talented. 50 Cent is a Jackson. Michael Jackson, Tito, Janet, all of them are Jacksons. I'm a Jackson. That's that's the bloodline, Jackson. So the talent is automatically there. The entertainment factor is just there. That's just what it is. I had one of the best Thanksgivings um, I had in a while yesterday. Like I said, from a kid all the way up, I was always around all of my cousins. All of my cousins and stuff was there. I should have went live, but, you know, everybody not, like, want to be all up on the camera like that. So I don't really like to just put, just randomly, boom. Because, like, people be on here posting people's addresses and all type of stuff, going, trying to dox people and all that. So, you know, I've learned a lot going through this career right now. Certain people, you don't, you can't just put everybody on camera because this is what people do. But I had so much fun, and I just didn't put it all on camera, but I had fun with all of my cousins, um, my, little, my little cousins. Like, everybody got kids. It looked like when I was raised on Thanksgiving to watch all of my aunts and uncles and all of them running around. But the kids, all the kids outside running around having fun, I got to see, like, what I felt growing up as a kid. So most of us, that's what we experienced. My grandmother was cooked some Thanksgiving dinner and everybody came and everybody had a good time. Man. Everybody, the kids all playing and running around, all the aunts and uncles was socializing, having fun. Dinners is just amazing. The whole vibe, that's what family is all about. That's the type of Thanksgiving I'm used to having. And I def to be able to experience that again yesterday as, an, as a grown man, with all of my family, seeing my dad, you know, because you don't, you never know how how many more of these Thanksgiving you get to have. So I tell people all the time, try to spend Thanksgiving with your mothers, your fathers, like you know, your grandparents if you still got them, because you don't know how many more Thanksgivings you're gonna have. You have beautiful sister and nieces. Thank you so much, man. I got so many, man. I got so many. My, all my cousins got kids, man. It was like I was just seeing so many kids around, and I'm getting, I'm like, wow, that you look just like. Your dad, when he was a kid, you look just like your mom when he was that size. Like she was that size. Like it's just dope to see how the bloodline is, man. Shout out to all the Jacksons, man. Can you pin the cash app? You and Janet should do a collab. That would be dope. Now don't be running around saying I said Michael Jackson and Janet Jackson were my cousin. I did not say that. I just said I'm a Jackson. That's. I'm a Jackson. I'm not saying we there's so many different sets of Jacksons before y'all run with that. I know how people do. <laughs> They're going to be running with that in a little bit. Like, oh, he's kidding to Michael Jackson. And Jack I don't know. It's possible, I guess, we Jacksons, but it's a different set. Somebody, you said, pin my cash app. I got it right here. I just pinned it. Uh, I just pinned my cash app. No grandparents and no parents, so cherish the moment. Absolutely, Cindy, you got to cherish the moment, man. I'm glad my dad is still alive. My dad can cook, too. He did his thing. My pop did his thing on the dinner yesterday. He did his thing on the dinner yesterday, for sure. Uh, yeah, nah, y'all related. <laughs> 50 Cent, I guess 50 Cent, my cousin here, Jackson. I told you, that Jackson bloodline everywhere, man. G, -g, -g, -g you, Nick. <laughs> Shout out to 50 Cent, man. 50, if you see this, what up, cuz? I'm a Jackson, bro. Come holler at me. It's time for us to work. I've been doing some big things out here, bro. Holler at me, 50. Y'all know, anybody know 50 directly tell 50 get at me. We probably cousins. Like, for real. We both Jacksons. We probably cousins. It's a, it's a possibility. 
We are related. God is our father. That's a fact, Londa. All right, man, I got some things I got to do, man. I got to tidy up some things, get some things together, man. I'm going to holler at y'all, man. I love y'all. I'm going to catch y'all later, man. We all cousins. That's right. Talk to them. Peace. I love y'all. Blessings.